Crashing over the clouds and around the world Here comes the wild side of wildlife The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> Uh, hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And today our guests are the spider monkey and the lemur. Stinky, what are you doing? Oh, I'm getting in shape for the international animal competition. Oh, by the way, I entered you in one of the events. You did? Which event? Synchronized tree swinging. <laughs> Stinky, polar bears do not swing in trees. Oh, but today's guests do. But the spider monkey and lemur can coach you to victory. No, no. Come on, it, Jake, you better start getting in shape. But Let's Stinky, jog. One, but two, Stinky, three, four. It, one, two, three, <gasps> four. Hey, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And now it's time for. That's amazing. Today, an animal that spends most of its life in the trees. Oh. Hey, that'd be my cousin Chester. He's nutty as a squirrel. No, Armstrong. <laughs> We're talking about Vero Shefak. Woozy's what to see? There she is, Vero Shefak. Yeah. This animal lives in the forest of Madagascar. It has long arms and legs and an extra long tail to help it swing from tree to tree. Hey, don't these uh, Veranzano's Sambucas ever come down to earth? It's Vero Shefak. Right. And they sometimes jump down to the ground to look for more food. But most of the time, they get all the food they need right up there in the treetops. Hoo-hoo! Nice jump there, Veronica Sukaku. Armstrong, it's Vero Shefak. Well, to me, it's just another animal that's not as nutty as my cousin Chester, but it'll make you say... That's amazing! Oh, 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 Stinky, can we stop jogging now? Oh, 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 okay, all right. But mm. you got a lot of work to do if you think oh. you're going to be ready for the synchronized oh. tree swinging event. Okay, but our, our first guest should be able to help me. Oh. 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 From Central and South America oh. and the oh. coastal forest of Mexico, oh. Mexico, here's Hector the Spider Monkey. I am. Let's get this thing moving. Wow. If I wanted to hang around, I'd go back to my tree. Well, <laughs> welcome, Hector. Oh, hey, which one of you needs my help with the tree swinging competition? That would be me. Oh, great, Guava. We got our work cut out for us. Well, it's tree swinging difficult. <laughs> it will be for you, but for spider monkeys like me, it's easy. Let me show you. Oh, a clap. Oh. I love this. <laughs> Now then, here's my home in the tropical rainforest. Wow, look at all those trees. Yeah, trees are where we spend most of our time. Oh, gee, you spider monkeys sure are furry. Ooh, thank you, Stinky. Now, li living in the tropics, isn't that fur awfully hot? Well, we need that fur. It can get very cold at night in the rainforest. Anyway, we stay cool swinging around the trees and wrestling with each other like this. Well, are those two fighting? No, they're just playing. Mm. Playing is one way we make friends. Spider monkeys love to play. Huh, me too. Now then, here's our tail. A tail you can wrap around branches is something every good tree swinger needs. What about your tail, Jake? I don't really have a tail. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? No tail is a big uh-oh. We spider monkeys use our tails all the time. It's like having a fifth paw. Oh, well, I'll be your fifth paw, Jake. Gee, thanks, Stinky. <clears throat> Hector, what, what is this spider monkey here doing? Oh, he's grooming. That's uh, cleaning bugs out of his fur. Uh, we spider monkeys spend a lot of time grooming. It's a way to keep clean, but also a way we bond together as a group. Oh, oh, so you live in groups. That's right. A group of 20 to 30 spider monkeys is called a troop. Well, do you live in troops for protection? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a way we protect and raise our young spider monkeys. It also lets us work together to find the best food. Well, uh, what kind of food do you eat? Well, there's a lot to choose from in the rainforest. And the best part is, it's all right up here in the trees. You see, most of the time, we eat fruits and nuts. And if there are tasty flowers around, we'll nibble on those too. Do you ever go down to the ground to get food? Oh, very rarely. Sometimes we'll drop down to grab an abandoned egg or insects, but it can be dangerous down there. What kind of danger? Jaguars and other wild cats try to grab us and have us for dinner. Yuck! It's a whole lot safer in the trees, especially for moms and babies like these two. Oh, look oh. at the baby holding on to mommy. Yeah, it looks like he's got a pretty tight grip. <laughs> it's a good thing, too. When that mom starts swinging and climbing through the trees, it can be a pretty bumpy ride. Well, can't the baby spider monkeys climb by themselves? Not when they're first born. They live with their moms for about three years, watching everything she does. Is that how they learn? That's right. Climbing comes naturally to spider monkeys, but mom will show her baby how to keep his balance and find the best food and groom, all the necessities of life. And then that baby will be ready to go off on its own. 
You got it, Jake. Hey, Spider Monkey, don't bite your own tail. <laughs> That's an important lesson I learned through painful personal experience. <laughs> hey, hey, Jake, uh, maybe you could go live with a Spider Monkey mommy for three years. Then you'd be a real tree swinger. No, <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Jake isn't exactly built like a Spider Monkey, is he? Oh, I never noticed that. It's true. Look at this Spider Monkey. See those long arms and long legs? Those wouldn't do as much good down on the ground. Well, you'd be dragging your knuckles in the dirt. That's right. But up here in the trees, long arms and legs make it easier to grab at far branches and to swing our weight from tree to tree. Oh, Jake, would you make a note of that? We're going to have to lengthen your arms and legs. Okay. Uh, what? Now, Stinky, let's not get carried well, away. It might be worth it, Jake. You'd be able to hang around with the spider monkeys and eat some delicious figs like these guys are doing. Mm. I don't know if there's enough room for Jake in the forest. <laughs> As it is, there's less and less room even for spider monkeys. What do you mean, Hector? Well, every day we're losing more of our rainforests. When they chop down those trees, they're cutting down our homes and the food that we eat. Without trees, we spider monkeys just won't be able to survive. Oh, well, Jake, on second thought, you shouldn't go down to the rainforest. Spider monkeys have enough trouble without having to share their figs with a polar bear. Yeah, you're probably right, Stinky. Mm. Well, Hector, thanks for being on our show. Oh, thanks, Jake, and good luck to you with your tree swinging competition. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Jake. Let's see if we can make your arms and legs longer. Uh, Give me your paw here. No, uh, Stinky, it's... Stinky, I don't want longer arms and legs. You don't? No, I want to watch... Baby talk! Oh, look at that fruit! It's delicious! Oh, I want some! Me too! And I'm not waiting! I'm going to get that fruit now! I'm almost there! Got it! Oh, yeah! workout tape for tree swingers like you. It's called Trunks of Steel. Trunks of Steel? Yeah. Ready to feel the burn? Do I have a choice? No. Mm. Come swing, come swing, come swing with me. Come fling your arms around a tree. Oh, why not take a glide? Across the great divide Then you'll be side by side with me When you hung and swung around that tree You run, you run your rings round me Oh, an acrobatic leap From somewhere pretty steep knows the answer. Uh, ma'am. Yes? Can you tell me which of the following animals shares its home with the spider monkey? Is it the black and white colobus monkey, the silver leaf monkey, the vervet monkey, or the red howler monkey? Do you know the answer? Oh, no, but I have a rather lovely singing voice. Uh, One to hear. No, I do not. No! The animal that shares its home with a spider monkey is the red howler.
Silver Monkey. Being up to three feet tall, with a tail up to three feet long, and weighing as much as 22 pounds, the Red Howler Monkey is among the largest of all the New World Monkeys. Like spider monkeys, they live in the trees and prefer the upper and middle canopy of the rainforest. They eat mostly leaves, but also like buds, flowers, and fruits, especially figs. Howlers are considered by some to be the noisiest monkey. When asked to comment, this howler monkey said... Yes. Mm-hmm. I see. Very interesting. It's Ronda Rat reporting on the howler monkey. Back to you, Stinky and Jake. Hey, Jake, if we don't get more tree swinging help, you're never going to be ready. Ah, then let's bring out our second guest mm. from the rainforest and woodlands of Madagascar. Madagascar. Mel the lemur. Whoa! Whoa, what a hopper. Whoa, it's certainly a strange walking on the ground like this. Well, the trees are so much nicer. <laughs> well, welcome to the show, Mel. Yeah, hiya, Mel. Hey, do you think you can get Jake ready for the tree swinging competition? Oh, well, only if he's going to be the tree. <laughs> no, no, but, I but, but seriously, huh? I, I've spent my whole life here in the forests of Madagascar. Madagascar? Yeah, that's, a, that's a large island off the coast of Africa. Africa! Right, Madagascar and the islands around it are the only places on Earth you can find lemurs like me. Huh. I can barely find a lemur like you in those trees. Well, there he is. Oh, yeah, these lemurs we'll see today are all known as ring-tailed lemurs. Uh, but there are 18 other species of lemurs. That's right. There's the mouse lemur, the yeah. dwarf lemur, the gentle lemur, the... Right. Ruffled lemur, the black lemur, and the fort crown lemur. Hey, uh, I'm impressed, Jake. Uh, how do you know all these lemur species? He eats encyclopedias. No, no, no. Uh, Mel, uh, I can certainly see why these are called ringtail lemurs. Uh, do you use your tails to hold on to branches like spider monkeys do? I'm afraid not, Stinky. With all that fur, our, our tails can't get much of a grip. Then why do you even have tails? Oh, tails are very important. They help us keep our balance when we're leaping around in the trees. Without our tails, we'd be very clumsy up there. Oh, just like you, Jake. <sighs> Thanks, Stinky. <clears throat> do lemurs live in troops like spider monkeys do? That's right, Jake. Uh, here's my troop. That's Lamb, Millie, Molly, Manny, Moe, and Jack. And here they are coming down the tree. Uh, but I thought you spent all your time up in the trees. Almost all the time, Stinky. But there are certain things you can't do in the trees. Like this. But what are they doing? That's called a threat display. And it's something two male lemurs do in order to attract a female mate. Well, gee, couldn't they just call her on the phone? Well, uh, we do have other ways to communicate, if that's what you mean. For instance, uh, these lemurs here are using their tails to spread their scent and tell other members of the troop who they are. Each lemur has a different scent. Right. A uh, lemur have a very strong sense of smell, and each scent is as individual to a lemur as a set of fingerprints is to a human. Oh. Well, my skunk scent only comes in one aroma. Smelly. Right. And now, come on, we need to know more about what it's like up in the trees. Oh, yeah. It's home. We're much more comfortable and safe up there than we are down on the ground. Well, are the trees a safe place for young lemur? As long as they hold on tight and look before they leap. Oh, I wonder if Jake could learn to leap like you guys. Uh, I don't think so, Stinky. The lemurs are natural leapers, like that. <laughs> and climbers. And we're leapers and climbers and sunbathers. In fact, the local people of Madagascar call us sun worshippers. But the word lemur actually means ghost or night spirit, doesn't it? That's right, my encyclopedia-eating friend. Oh. And we got that name because we move so quickly. Looking for us in the trees is like trying to see a ghost. Well, how can Jake be more like a lemur? Well, most of our day is spent resting. I like that. Yeah, uh, we get up early. I don't like that. We go out looking for food. I can do that. We eat fruits, flowers, and tree bark. I prefer a cool fish. And the rest of our day is free for climbing up and down trees like these, grooming each other, sitting in the sun, and spreading our scent. Well, Whoa. thank you, Mel. Yeah, hey, could you sing a song about swinging in trees? It sure would help Jake here. <laughs> oh, I know the perfect song. Ah. Here's Mel the Lemur singing Treeway. You got your freeway, but I've got my treeway. It's keeping my feet off the ground. It's my way of showing.
joking. You won't find me joking. Down in a street full of cars. You ain't got no leeway when you drive on the freeway. But, but I've got my treeway to the stars. Treeway, don't you just love it? Treeway, way up above it. Just love it. Whoa, swinging song. Thanks, Mel. And now let's take a look at a really big animal that swings from trees. Bigger than a polar bear? It's big, not humongous. And now it's time for... Animal Awards. Mm -hmm. Today we'll find out which of these is the largest monkey. Hey, you know, I once made a big monkey out of myself in an office party. I am telling no, you... No, I'm strong. Later. Gotcha. Which of these <clears throat> animals is the largest monkey? Is it the red howler monkey? Ooh, or the mandrill? Or the black and white colobus monkey? And the winner is... The mandrill, which can weigh as much as 116 pounds, wow. making it the largest of all monkeys. Hey, I bet you he's an office party animal. The mandrill, winner of today's Animal Award. Yeah. Oh, you see, Jake? Mandrills are big and they can swing in trees. Well, I weigh a lot more than a mandrill, Stinky. Maybe you're reading too many encyclopedias. <laughs> well, here's a book I'm not going to eat because it's today's oh. story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a troop of spider monkeys, and the spider monkeys all heard that Stanley Spider Monkey was eating some very, very ripe fruit. I don't believe it, said Stanley's sister, Sybil. Doesn't Stanley know that ripe fruit can make you sick? How you doing down there, Stanley? asked Seymour. Be careful not to eat too much, warned Celia. I just don't get it, said Stanley's Uncle Sinbad. Why would he want to eat that stuff? Well, I'm not going to stay around here and watch him eat himself, silly. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir -ree. Stanley? I'm out of here. And Sinbad swung away. When Stanley finished the fruit, he did feel a little odd. But he was soon back to his old self and lived happily ever after. The end. Oh, great story, Jake. Oh, uh, Stinky, by the way, what's your event in the animal competition? Oh, the Stinkathalon. Uh, my specialty is downwind skiing. Ugh. You don't want to miss it. I don't think I have a choice. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll enter that hold your wings in the air competition. A little practice. <clears throat> Armstrong, it's habitat time, yeah. and it's a perfect time for you to help me train for the marathon. Oh, uh, do I have to? When, two, when, two, when, two, when, two. Oh, where are we? The island of Madagascar. It's in the Indian Ocean. Oh, hey, uh, what's in that tree there? It's a lemur. It's only found here in Madagascar. All right, well, keep running circles. You're doing great. Oh, rainforest here has lots of animals that don't live anywhere else. Uh -huh. That's a Madagascan kestrel sitting on top of a baobab tree. A baobab tree? Baobab tree. Yeah, well, if I'm not mistaken, that there is a black crested drongo, one of the world's better looking birds. Oh, yeah. There's an, an out till it. Out till it. Yeah, chameleon. I know. Thank you. And he seems to be enjoying his meal, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. And. Uh, Don't, don't, don't talk. Right. It's a black lemur having a fruit salad. Yeah. Lots of fruit here in the rainforest. Uh -huh. Right? At different times. Whoa. See you later there, lemur. Oh, the sun is setting. Can I stop running now? Do you want to win the bear at or not? Oh, look. An eye eye. My eyes only come out at night. Oh, that pill bug is hiding from him. Oh, I guess the eye I didn't notice him. I guess not. Hey, uh, bug, it's safe to come out now. Oh, I'm strong, can, can we go back now, please? <laughs> 
Boy, I never thought I'd hear you say those words, huh? How do you feel? Poked. Yeah? <laughs> well, I guess you're ready for that bear-a-thon now, huh, Bunny? But... Well, uh... Well, for Habitat Time, this is Armstrong the Chicken Hawk, just back from Madagascar in record time. Back to you, Rhonda. Hey, 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 back it up, huh? <clears throat> Once again, I'm Rhonda Rapp, road reporter, getting answers to today's tough questions. Shh. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Ah, uh, sir. Huh? Huh? Can you tell me which of the following animals is a capuchin? Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? Number, Your answer. Number four. And I have mine with cinnamon. Oh, you were very close, but very wrong. Oh, uh, what? Uh, here's the real answer. Oh. Number four is a cappuccino, which is a kind of coffee. Number one is a Rufus Hummingbird. Number two is a Black Piranha. And that means the Capuchin is number three. Capuchins are monkeys that live in the tropical forests of Central and South America. This is Rhonda Rapp reporting on the Capuchins. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. Get him out of here. All right, come on. I, I told you. Thanks, Rhonda. Well, uh, wonder where Stinky went. Well, well, that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank our two tree-swinging guests, Hector the Spider Monkey and Mel the Lever. Oh, bad news, Jake. They've canceled your synchronized tree-swinging competition on account of termites. Oh. And the only other event I could get you in was... You're not going to like it. Well, what is it? The Icy Water Swim. Oh. Stinky, I love the icy water you do? swim. Yes, I was varsity captain of my polar bear club. You were? <laughs> oh, remember until next time to keep seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Out of my way. Yeah, I'm yeah, diving yeah. in. <laughs> hey, everybody, look at Jake. He's 